Some satellites run out of fuel or power, but not all fall back to the Earth, nor are they so large as the one that's about to come down. And a cheer coming up. Great. The Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite weighs about 7,000 pounds. It cost $750 million when it was taken into orbit on a space shuttle. Suspended over the uh, space shuttle Discovery. Out of fuel, it can no longer be controlled. Later this month or in October, NASA expects it to break into 26 chunks as it falls. The largest piece, 335 pounds, enough to make a respectable crater. The debris should rain down over an area 500 miles long. But NASA doesn't think anyone will be hit or hurt. When thousands of pieces of the space shuttle Columbia hit Texas and Louisiana in 2003, there was little or no damage on the ground. In this case, the satellite will hit somewhere in the world, as far north as northern Canada or as far south as southern South America, probably in an ocean. Your odds of being hit are calculated at precisely 1 in 3,200, meaning you stand a much better chance of being hit by the satellite than winning the lottery. But if you find a piece after it hits, you can't have it. To the extent of the property of the United States government, um, and, and no, you don't have the luxury of trying to sell it on eBay. About once a year, people find something that falls from space. Not long ago, a guy in Texas found part of a rocket that he wanted to use as a hot tub. But the government wouldn't let him. They took it away. Hello, everybody. This is Sheila Aliens, and today is... September 16th, 2011. And this is another quick update from msn.com about the UARS satellite and when it's going to be falling. It says here that a satellite is falling faster than forecasted. NASA's Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite is now expected to fall to Earth sometime between September 23rd and 25th. So, that's the latest on that. The chance that any piece of the satellite will hit anybody at all is 1 in 3200. The chance that you specifically will be hit is 1 in 20 trillion. Unless you live in, say, Finland, then there's zero chance, okay? Where is the UARS right now? Visit the satellite tracking page and see when it's going to fall on your head. As you guys can see, it's kind of dropping pretty rapidly. It looks like, at this rate, it seems like it would be falling much sooner than the 23rd or the 25th. But what do I know? So at least we can keep an eye on it, and I'll have the link to this website in the information to this video. Much love. Yeah.